here we are. Fremy are in, you know what that means? Pre-travel day. We're staying at the Premier in Manchester and we're flying to Orlando again. As a family this time. Finally get to come along. Nine September though. So yeah, last September I'm sure you've seen the vlogs. It was just me and Sarah. So we promised the kids we'd do it again this year. First time we've been in May. So it's a new experience for us. We're flying with Tui. So we've just literally arrived and dropped our bags off at the airport and then um, we're walking now to the Romper pub which I featured in the last, last series we did um, hopefully I'll be able to show you some footage of that it won't be too busy, it was a bit busy last time so I'll be able to show you what the food's like and stuff like that but uh, yeah we're going to the viewing area first aren't we? oh yeah we're going to the viewing areas Amy's just said uh, to look at all the planes and things like that um, and something to eat and then back to the hotel so but uh, stay with us for a new Florida vlog series smile <laughs> yeah we've done it again we're taking the shortcut like we did last time it's shorter just but um, there's a footpath there proper footpath but for some reason we keep coming down this sort of like muggy forest bit. You excited, Amy? Very excited. Very excited. Yeah, all the years we've been coming to Manchester Airport, flying from Manchester Airport, and we only really discovered how close the visitor centre is to the Premier Inn where we're staying and the, the pub that we we're going to visit later. But if you're staying at the Premier Inn, Manchester Airport, this is really worth a visit because you get to see all the planes, there's a few planes on display there and you get to see all landing and taking off but yeah, probably about a 15 minute, 20 minute walk from Premier Inn we're at the, the shop at the uh, visitor centre all the models They've got a toy. No. Is it bigger than an And here we have Concord. God, it's massive. It's a lot bigger than I thought. You can actually book a guided tour to look around, which I believe those people are doing now. Six pound each, which is not too bad. Six pound? Six pound each. No, it's not too bad to actually go inside it. I don't want that. Oh no, I want my beer with beer in it. We just stopped off for some beverages from the cafe over there. That came to how much was that? How much was that, Sarah? Twenty-two pounds. Twenty-two pound for those two, and the beer. The beer was five pound eighty. Probably about fifty p. Little one. But we sat, and it, it's nice to see all the planes taking off. But Samuel's. Well, bit of a nervous flyer. You didn't. You didn't do too bad when we went to Madeira and, and Kos. If you can do Madeira, you can do anywhere. But uh, no, he's just. He's just. Oh. Actually, he's just said that these engine noises are starting to make him a little bit nervous. I, th I think it's just, yeah. It's more we've not flown in five years. Yeah, five years. I think I'm just tired. Now I've stopped for the past. Yeah, he's been. Yeah. On, he's been on like constant shifts for the last week. He's fine. He's got his big, big boy pants uh. on. Are you nervous, Amy? 
No. No. Flight radar is just going to pop. You see the size of the back end of that plane though, over there. Right, we're at the romper, so copyright music, so I'll have to be quick, but that's the uh, menu there. I will show the food when it comes, but it's surprisingly quiet. Last time we came here in April last year, it was absolutely heaving. Yeah, on the way to Madeira, but... Uh, <laughs> he's hard in. Right, we've got the starters. I've got the cheesy garlic mushroom, which is very nice. And Sam's got the, is it spicy squid? Uh, chili, salt and chili. Salt and chili squid. Um, Sarah and Amy didn't want starters because they're a bit, no, you're getting pudding, aren't you? They're having pudding. They're having yeah, pudding. I'm having pudding. pudding as well still. Pudding room. Jeez. <laughs> now we've got the mains, which is Amy's lasagna. That's a beef and pan... pan uh. Pancetta. Beef and pancetta. <laughs> and what have you got? That's a chicken and hock pie. Hock. 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 So, hock. Hock. Oh right, well, it's, it's a pig's it's leg. A hock. It's a pig's leg. Yeah. Pig's trotter. Ugh. Hock. Yes, yeah, pig's trotter. Could be hock. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just the cup of the pork. Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Any sauces? Um, no, I'm alright. No, I'm okay, thank, thank you. you. Enjoy your drinks. Uh, yeah. So that is a smothered chicken. And Samuel's got the steak. Sale and steak, he wanted it blue, but they won't do it blue, so it's near as blue as you can. And that's the food at Romper. Very nice. We've well, just left the Romper. Very nice meal. But. How much have we just spent on the drinks? Oh, don't get me started. £12.20 for two pints of beer. Two pints of beer, £12.20. 20 20 go on. £8.90 for a double Jane cook. Oh, that was £8.90 plus 90p for the cook. And then a Malibu, £4.5p, and the Jane to wear was £3.95. So we spent more on the drink than, than the, the food. Drink. But the food was good. Yeah, the food was all right, yeah. Um, so just go for the food and maybe get a glass of water. I was going to say, maybe just get some tap water next time. Or <laughs> so just bring your sneak your own booze in. But yeah, the food was nice, it's a lovely pub, but um, yeah, pricey for the drinks. So what we're doing now, we're just um, heading back to the hotel, get checked in, and then um, maybe go for a, a drink in the bar, and we intend on having an early night. Because I think we're setting the alarm for about quarter past six tomorrow which we're looking forward for I actually didn't get to sleep till about half twelve quarter to one last night and I was awake at half past four the usual holiday excitement I think and I know for a fact I don't think either of us will you sleep tonight Amy? What? Will you sleep tonight? I don't think any of us will sleep tonight because I'm sure a lot of you do. You're going on holiday and you're sleeping at the hotel the night before. And it's the worst one for not sleeping, isn't it? Yeah, you just can't sleep. It's too so, but yeah, back to the hotel. Who's that freaky person in front? <laughs> Follow me, 